Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to another video on my channel. My name is Kieran and yeah, welcome back. So before I kick off the video, guys, I just want to first of all apologize for the background of this video. It's not set up at all. Uh, and I really just don't know, like, I don't have like a distinct base or place to really film these kind of YouTube videos because I don't really do these videos, um, you know, that often enough to actually make like a whole entire set for these videos. So I do apologize for that. But yeah, I do apologize for that. And uh, what I'm going to be doing today, guys, is a very exciting video that I've actually had requested. Which is the best posable Spider-Man 2 figure that you should buy? Now, this is not including the Spider-Sense figure or the, or the Web Attack Spider-Man 2 figure. I think that's the one where, like, the arm is stiff. No, no, these are fully posable figures with lots of points of articulation that you guys could get. Now, I know this isn't every single Spider-Man 2 Raimi figure that's been made or released, but I just wanted to make this video basically just to sort of give you guys an idea of what is out there available for you guys to buy and potentially what you guys could pick up if you so wanted to. So, yeah. I am going to be including price points on this video, so do not worry about that. I will be giving prices for various figures on this video that are available on the aftermarket because, as many YouTubers know, there is no Raimi store. It doesn't exist. You have to buy these figures either on eBay, Macari, sometimes AliExpress, but I have only ever bought my whole collection, which is consisting of all the Raimi figures and even some of the Tasm figures, all of these have been bought on eBay. None of these have been bought new in store. Just so you guys are aware, there is no retailer out there right now that is selling these figures exclusively, brand new or loose in package. You have to get these on eBay. So guys, I'm going to be starting off the video with possibly one of the most sought after and popular figures, which is the Magnetic Spider-Man. Now, I that's, that's crazy how my dog is featured in this video as well as the last one. I do apologize for that. So this is the Magnetic Spider-Man figure, which is a highly sought after figure. Lots of people love this guy, specifically because of the uniqueness of the magnets. Now they are included on his hands and as well as his feet, but mine unfortunately is missing one. That is what happens when you do buy these figures on eBay. But I knew what I was getting. This guy came in amazing condition. like. He is as stiff as a rock. Like, he is not loose at all. He has literally been used for display purposes only, and that is what I use him for. He is literally only displayed on my shelf. And just look at the pain on this guy. Like, wow. <laughs> it is incredible to see what they achieved, even back in the day of 2004. It's incredible. Maybe, maybe even be earlier than 2004. It could even be 2003. Now... This figure is not cheap. <laughs> um, if you find this guy in the box, you're easily going to be looking around, maybe, if you're lucky, £100, £200 in the UK. If you guys find this loose, which you probably will only find these figures loose, you can find him for around £50 to £100. I was very, very lucky and got this guy for £30, which was, I thought, an incredible deal. Um, and I highly recommend him. If you guys can find this guy, he is a huge, amazing addition to the collection and will just truly make your space for a Raimi Maguire figure perfectly. He will fill that space, no problem. But a figure that lots of people do turn to if they can't find a magnetic Spider-Man figure is the next best thing, which is basically the same figure. But it is the uh, web trap figure, which is basically the same thing, just without the magnets. And he, again, is a very poseable figure. I managed to find mine for around £40, so not too, too bad. And you can find him on the market for around that price. This guy is not ridiculously expensive. I have seen him go for upwards of 60 to 80 before, but that is usually because this guy comes with all the accessories. I got mine literally loose for £40, which I was perfectly willing to pay because I knew how much I wanted this figure. I'm not buying these figures to just get a quick buck and resell them. That is not the case for me at all. 
And again, like the, uh, the Magnetic Spider-Man, this guy's paint is just immaculate. The detail is really there. The articulation specifically is phenomenal on this guy. And it's just a really great figure that you guys should 100% get if you want to. Um, I am missing one figure from the collection and I will get to him because I have done a custom job on him. You guys have obviously seen the video. You guys know what I'm referring to if you watch my channel and seen the collection video. He was featured in that too. So I will get to him, don't worry. Um, but yeah, if you guys can find this figure specifically, he's fantastic. He'll happily fill the space of a Maguire figure perfectly if you're making a No Way Home shelf until Hasbro inevitably makes a new Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield figure. This one will fill the space just fine if you can find him for the right price. Do not pay any more than £100 for any of these figures. In fact, I wouldn't even say think about spending that kind of money on a figure because it's just not worth it. And it really just does not make sense to do that because these guys retailed for literally like £10 back in the day of 2003. God, I miss those days, right? But um, just don't do that. You know, save your money. You, there's so many better things you can spend your money on than a Spider-Man figure. But again, I do understand the want and demand for these guys because they are, they are just so sought after. Now, this one is kind of a holy grail. But unfortunately for mine, it's pretty damaged. Not even damaged, just very loose. And yeah, I, yeah. This is the super posable Spider-Man. Now, this one has had many re-releases. I have another version of this guy. I have two other versions of this guy now because I managed to find another one recently, which I will be making a Spider-Man 3 video like this one. Just not Spider-Man 2, it'll be Spider-Man 3 figures. And honestly, this figure, if you find him in good condition for the right price, go for it. This guy is incredible. The articulation is there. The paint on mine, unfortunately, is not the best because mine is not in the best condition. And the price I paid for this guy, I can't complain. I literally paid £20 for this figure, which was just a fantastic deal for what I was getting. Because mine, obviously, the paint is gone on the butt as you can see uh but the spider logo still looks crisp even some of the webbing looks great but as you can see on the top of the head the web lines have faded and yeah this guy's clearly been loved and <laughs> i happily display him on my shelf with pride because he's a fantastic figure and i i personally have no gripes with the some of the paint work just being faded because that's what you expect to get on these older figures and it's it's a shame but it's what happens over time. So, yeah. But if you guys can find him for the right price, he'll happily fill the space. And I do recommend this one out of them all. Moving on, we've got the Aerial Flipping Spider-Man, which is my personal favourite out of all of these. I think the Aerial Flipping Spider-Man is the perfect Spider-Man 2 figure. The proportions just look amazing. He doesn't have this weird cut where the, the leg joint is, like these two have. He's got the same kind of legs as the superposable. And it they just they just match so well. Like they really, really just look so sleek and slim down on the body. And the fingers on this one are not individually articulated, and you cannot do a thwipping pose, which is the only thing I'd say really lets this figure down. But then again, if you just want a space to fill the Toby Maguire gap that you might have. This guy is amazing. The paintwork is there. As you can see, it just looks fantastic. The spider logo is sleek and crisp. And it just doesn't fail to disappoint throughout the entire figure. It just looks amazing. So I highly recommend this guy out of all of them. And the best thing is, this guy is the cheapest out of the bunch. You can find this guy for around £30 in the UK just like this, and he's 100% worth it. If you can find this guy, get this one. Articulation's there, paint is there. Only thing that might disappoint is the fingers, but even then, there's modifications for that. So, highly recommend this guy. He's just incredible. Price point is perfect, and he'll just fill the space amazingly if you're just after a Tobey Maguire figure for a reasonable price. And just, oh, perfect. 
fucking A. The only thing about these figures is that I can just never ever stop dropping them. I promise you that's the reason, that's not the reason why the paint has just gone on these figures. Oh man, they're all falling. Fucking stay, you annoying little bastard. Such a wanker. All right, guys, and the next figure I'm going to be talking about is this guy. This is the Pizza Scooter Spider Man, which is, again, a very much sought after figure, specifically. For this Tobey Maguire head sculpt, which is so fucking shitly painted that he literally looks like glowstone from Minecraft on my camera right now. But uh, as you can see, this head sculpt is just not the best. It does look like Tobey Maguire, and it does obviously resemble him. I think, anyway, for 2004 or three, this is a great looking head sculpt. And as you can see, guys, the paint does not disappoint with this guy. It looks fantastic. Just like the rest of the figures, this paint hands down holds up to this day. It is just incredible. I unfortunately didn't get mine with the additional Spider-Man head. So I only got the Toby head, but that really didn't bother me personally because I was looking for an unmasked Toby figure. And this was the one I was looking for. And I got him for such a good price. But that's the only bad thing about this figure. You're not going to find this guy for a good price, and you're probably not going to find the Superposable for a good price either, which sucks, because these figures are just great, and I really want them to be enjoyed by so many people. So I can't recommend this guy, simply because he might not come with all his accessories, and honestly, the guy is just not worth the price that people are asking for. So I can't recommend getting this one. But if you do find him, for some miracle, for a great price... I recommend him, but other than that, I can't say he's worth it. Okay, guys, so the last figure I'm going to be talking about is one I have done a custom paint job on, and it is the Spin and Kick Spider-Man figure, which I did repaint black to sort of look like the black suit from Spider-Man 3. I did do a video on how I did this custom, so if you guys are interested in that, and I am definitely going to return to this to this figure and try and fix him up a bit because he, he doesn't look the best, but he, he looks okay for what I managed to achieve. So yeah, I think he looks awesome. But obviously the spinning kick Spider-Man does have this gimmick here, which no longer works, so I'm not even going to try and uh, show you guys that gimmick, but... I honestly, much like the aerial flipping Spider-Man, recommend this guy as he is quite cheap because of this gimmick. A lot of people don't like that. But if you're asking for something that's quite posable, but with obviously this limitation, which makes the price point go down, this one is probably the best value for your money. And I can highly recommend this figure because even before I repainted him, he looked incredible. His paintwork was Actually better than all of these combined. The red was a much nicer toned red. And honestly, the web lines looked fantastic still as well. So I highly recommend this figure if you can find him. But again, I can't recommend, obviously, him for articulation purposes. As he does fall short compared to the others. But he'll happily fill that Tobey Maguire Spider-Man space that you guys might have. So that is all for this video, guys. Sorry it was quite short and quite basic.
I just really didn't want to make this video too long. But hopefully you guys enjoyed and hopefully this helps you guys out with some of the aftermarket prices. I will be doing a video like this for specifically the superposable Spider-Man because I have two other versions of this guy. Um, one of which is obviously from Spider-Man 2, which is this guy. But the other two are from Spider-Man 3. And yes, there are two versions of the Spider-Man 3 superposable. So I will be doing another video on this guy. So expect that very, very soon. Uh, but yeah, these are my Spider-Man 2 figures for Tobey Maguire anyway. I do have a Doc Ock, which was obviously featured in this dickhead's video. And yeah, guys, honestly, I'm going to leave the video off here, though. I don't want to make it too long or drag this out anymore. If this guy, if this video did help you guys out at all, please make sure to drop me a like. That would be awesome. If you guys also want to subscribe to the channel as well, that'd be amazing. We have hit nearly 80 subscribers, which is what? That's amazing. So thank you all so much for the support. It really does mean a lot to me that you guys watch these videos and just want to see more content as this is my favorite hobby, collecting these figures. It's truly amazing. And yeah, uh, share this around with your friends if you like this channel. And yeah, guys, I'm going to see you guys over on the next video very soon, which will be a video on these guys, spe uh, specifically the Spider-Man 2 Superposable, but along with the Spider-Man 3 ones as well. Anyway, guys, I'll see you guys on the next video. Take care. Have a good rest of your week.